I like I was telling a lot of people, I was like, man, you could even do a lot of funky body positions, but if you have hands and arms. you're good, right there. Yeah. All you need ever to be good. A low ROC, a low ROF, yeah. rate of closure, rate of flip. That's it. It's good golf right there. You can't see that unless you got a, a slow motion camera. Yeah, it's like the best, that's the, that's the best training aid ever is a high speed camera. That's all you need. Strong stomach. Okay, I'm strong stomach. That's what I saw victim. Like you have to have a strong stomach to be able to look at your swing in slow motion because you get to see all your flaws, good and bad, everything. And we're all our own worst critics. That's a beaut right there. Hitting the driver straight today. I always do. What? This because I'm a long drive guy means I hit it crooked. If we can get those wedges as good as your driver, oh. We could get, if we could get you making those first putts, holy hell. I'm like 500 through six. Yeah, on your third or fourth ball, I mean, but still, I'm talking about those first balls. <laughs> nice. That's a, that's a, that's your socks butter swing right there, you know? Yeah, it's not, that's not me going hard or anything. Yeah, you can tell it's looks like, like 125 ish, you know, it just fairways. Like you said, I'm hitting a lot of fairways today. Okay, you guys out here, you know, one of the things like, when it comes to tournaments in general, you know, I've carried a first, second, and final stages of Q School, um, other local mini tour events. And, you know, a lot of it comes down for these players is getting into a good routine. You know, I see a lot of players, they build their own routine on what time they wake up, how early they get to the course. They all have their own things that they like to eat for breakfast, um, what they like to drink, when they like to use the restroom, like everything, you know, when they like to do the stretching program. So. For them, it's like the same routine all the time, every day. You know, you know, final stage was nine days in a row, three practice rounds, six tournament rounds. So every day is the same. And I think that gives a player a lot of security if they know when they want to get to the course, they know what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink. Like everything is very comfortable. They've already done it a lot. They build a routine. You know, a lot of them like to know, sure. you know, some players like to putt first. Some players like to hit first. They know how long they like to hit. And then they're going to do short game, then go putting, and they're going to tee off. What club did you hit there, Victor? Uh, pitching wedge from 210. Tell your dad to watch out. Yeah, you, that was are fun. you 210 out right now? Yeah. I was flushed. That thing looks deep, dude. Great shot. Thank you. That was nice. You gotta do that. That's the, that's every, every tour player you need, every good shot you have to have a routine. You need a routine for every good shot. No matter what it is, no matter how good it is. So for me, it's there, twirl. Might walk forward, but usually there, twirl, one-handed, step, and then go. And there you go. All right. Slam the club in, walk off. Doesn't matter where you walk, just walk confidently away from the shot. I think this guy needs his own YouTube channel, man. Just pure gold. That's the good shot routine. Are you done yet? Can we please go? Around for. That was your seventh shot. I mean, come on. Hey, where you going? See what I have to deal with? This is why I charge so much. Okay, here's Victor's seven iron, about six feet. I mean, to watch someone hit a 210 seven iron is pretty cool. Like I said, you know what? It all comes down to short game putting, anyways. It comes to course management, it comes down to mental game. There's a lot of other factors that come into just how far you hit it. Moment of truth. You know, this isn't an easy putt right here. Not. Downhill slider. It's a big bank. This thing's probably gonna break. A lot. Quite a big. Gotta get the speed right. Gotta get the line right. But either way, it would be an easy birdie. Yeah, it's a great birdie. It really is. Come on, eagle. An eagle on camera, so I can be cool. Yahtzee. Okay, guys, out here on hole 17, one of the things you always want to be cautious of, too, in your practice rounds is we're always trying to figure out where the miss is. You know, we got a back left pin here. Maybe the green could be sloping away from left to right at the back, so, you know, we wouldn't want to short side ourselves. It also depends, you know, what iron we're hitting in. If it's a pitching wedge, obviously we're going to aim more at the pin. But if it's a, you know, a 200-yard par 3 with a back left pin where 15, 20 feet right would be okay, then we don't, might not need to take dead aim, you know, so... That's those other things off the tee, you know, where's the miss? You know, when we're hitting the green, where's the miss? So like, for here on this hole... You gotta talk towards that mic, cause... So for here on this hole... There you go. <laughs> so for here on this hole, uh, just left of the pin, the pin's in the back left, just left of the pin, 
you've got a pretty big slope with the bunker there. Uh, there's no way you're gonna make par from there. Um, so the bailout is gonna be a little right. So in the tournament, I'm probably gonna go for middle of the green. I might try and draw it. If it draws, great. If not, I have 20 feet, make a two putt and go on. This isn't something you get too aggressive with. You know, exactly. you gotta make you gotta make a few pars or else, you know. There's plenty there's plenty of birdie opportunities too with short par four, short par fives. You know, another thing these players do, professional golfers, is they eat when they're supposed to as well. They don't eat when they're hungry. So a lot of my players I know have certain holes that they eat and drink on no matter what. Not even if they're hungry, but they're gonna do it anyways. And I know some players who eat a lot. Yeah. That's where the hole is. Where is it? Right in front. So it's nice, we got Victor's dad here today to go up there, check the pins, and come back so we know what... And the back slants a little bit. What clubs to hit and where we need to look for. World Mustache Champion, 1974. Gonna make appearance here soon, huh? Reappearance, see if reappearance you can we, we win that back again. He's, he's training vigorously. <laughs> it's a strenuous <laughs> workout. Strenuous training program. Yeah. What club you got, Victor? 190 to the front. Um, this is a seven iron. I just, you know, I, I just hit it 210 on the last hole. Um, so I could go eight iron, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what happens if I just choke down a bit, just chip it, slide it down a little bit. Okay, so we're still gonna go with the seven iron again from 190, 190 to the front. Probably gonna look to hit this by 195, 200. And that went to the back of the green. Maybe you might go in the hole for the back pin. So it's going to be a nine iron. Let me see if he's giving me the right distance here. I'm going to make sure it's really 190 to the front. 177, bro, to, wow. your, to your dad. Yeah, 178 to your pops. That, that I was going to say, nah, that's like a 247 iron, apparently. <laughs> Knocked out. OK, so wrong yardage. 178 to Victor's dad on the green. Similar shot, man, that looks deep too. Yeah, that's a good club though. And actually took a good kick to the right. That could have almost probably gone back into the hole. Getting the members bounces today. Where's he going? That's his good shot routine. All right, this is uh, this is guest commentator, Victor Rodriguez. We have Gabriel Ryder here for the movement, pause, and improvement. Gorgeous swing. I'm calling. What shafts are in here? Uh, KBS 130s. Is that stiff? They're very, very stiff. Play hard. Best shot I've seen all year. Actually, it was pretty High good slice. there. All right, I can oh, get that up bad. and down. He's gotten a little longer. Not bad. Impressive. Huh? Impressive. Thanks. Very impressive. Those actually felt pretty good. They are good. Yeah. So, once again, there is the dot for the pin placement for tomorrow. It's usually either a, I usually see it as a red dot. Pretty quick, pretty decently quick down the hill. Good. And the greens don't really look that fast, huh? No. I like it. Um, Victor actually hit the slope over here, um, kicked right, so you know. Local knowledge. Local yeah. knowledge. You make sure you take a club that, if it's this front pin, you can't hit in that bunker and maybe you get this little friendly kick like that. This is the first uh, seven iron he hit. He initially told me it was 190 to the front, so we we're thinking 200 to the front pin. This would have been like a 230 yard seven iron, so I had to, you know, check the yardage with the laser. It turns out it was 178 to the front. See, so. that's why I need him, but no, he doesn't want to. <laughs> like, that's why I need a caddy more than anything, just to <laughs> get the yardages. Strong like bull, dumb like tractor. <laughs> Way up there and is leaning over? Yeah. That's going to be your target. I'm going to be right, right there. Alright. Because there's not much left. Left. All right, show them the practice swing. We want the, uh... Whew, da -da -da damn. See? <whistles> so you aim right at that cart? Right at the cart. Yeah, I like that, right? That little bush over there? The 150 marker? Yeah, you mean like right at the cart. Yeah, it just landed right on top. Hole 18 here, dog leg left, par five, 564. Little to the right, right rough, not gonna kill him. 
We did only wait for like a good, what, 12 minutes or so? Uh, 17. 17, 17 yeah. to be exact. We waited pretty long on this tea. Thanks for watching part two. Go watch part one if you haven't already. Uh, part three will be up in another day or two. And I'm also going to upload some slow-mo swings of Victor that I took with my Casio. So stay tuned, you guys. Leave any questions or comments down below. Please subscribe and please check out all the links in the description and link up. Thanks, you guys. Gabriel right here. Represent the movement towards improvement. Peace.